rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh alfa ba na ke ba fa ma ne konta sang kutola ne konta na sang kutola de ba fala juma mubarak ba bi juma mubarak na telefono ya fix le ba re nga je ko internet o sa nya manke problem o ti ba ni nga mo call na pick asikuntu ni mo fana en call nga pick ak asikuntu ba re sa mani ala sonda be technician o call la bi le ya fix bi le ya fix ba re sa man ba call la ay na a ju mun en problem o ti kotoke aga mun de ni telefon system da malo mun en be kering ba re ni ala sonda sa ma ba fix la Uh, fa mo keta ambe konto na alama sankuto dundamento alama alay nati be ngatara gambia ngabanko doku nga bondi nyamo kono alama alay jo ila ngane senengo ila dankini ya alama iteni la family be si jango ni jata kendia fa mo keta bake mba uh, fala e masa ñen kulu balol kam kuma fori ngol men fo wala ara wartal bayri ala ko ala ala mal me al qur'an o lam balo na ko kam mol ne wo mu jinwe balti sutu mo e melon ko atel siata e famati bare ñen duniya bi duniya abe tiñaro le kono abe katale kono Nen dindingo be kulu wali ala be kuma fone ngo mol be kulu wali ala be kuma jawol fo mol fo la mol la a wo mo yoma kiyama lungo ni ala man kiti o kuntu jang a ba kuntu la yoma kiyama bare munyaro e menke a ala ma ala e jo wala fana a ala ma ala e jo wala mo kanta nta ba ke ba fa e hako hako tunye ba rin te la kuole ka tina mol be nen na be kuma furi ngol fola ite fole ite ke ba ba a si yam funi e ba ke a si yam funi e ba ke wo a indi mi ba ke le a indi mi ba ke a kan ni o kuya ba ke a ni mo be du lato ite ite ma la fi jela muna ite na iba nen ma ite e men foto nyala ite te kuma fola inde ma men foka fo ko inde le nga fo ok ba re telefono a uh, kom telefon problem onti be pare nga moy dol ka foko a uh, ninte diamu tay wolu ngole ite be ibe bay la jimale be bay la jimale be ba iye muneke ente ente nga men fo ye wala ke jimale be bay la bare enimi ala wasal ha kulu balo anini ni so doro ha Katun tete son na patieto fengo eke melon ko dol dol ma boa kalamuta imam mol be consult nga men fo e man na oke ba re nga explain ye men keta fonte fa nga nyini ka fo nyini ya fo ele iko nya ima fo nyi ni nga nyini ka fo ali ya fo pa pa karamo e ka fo fo ha yo ani mbeta la je mbuka soto no teng teng be kuma kalanta ngo fo la Baren tete tete sunda executive form man men kalamta activity ya men ko executive ma ma kalamta mo group do ya ke in a way ya men ko abe abe agamunta executive la le sota ta wote kela ndele ngafo as from now and i will repeat my line of communication with the party would be through through them the council of elders and chairman that will be my line of communication with the party and then let me see whether anybody will be angry that i'm talking to the council of elders and try to fight the council of elders because there are reasons why i have to communicate with certain people And also I have a right to communicate with any member of the party. Nobody tells me whom, with whom I should talk and with whom I shouldn't talk. Let me make that very clear. I can talk to anybody in the Gambia. That is nobody's business. 
either concerning something or concerning the party. I can talk to anybody in the Gambia, as long as the party will get things done. But now I have the Council of Elders. I've listened to the uh, Council of Elders and Chairman. I've listened to them, and I'm, I have high confidence in them that they will deliver on what they said. They should not compromise with discipline. They should not compromise with discipline, and they should not compromise with uh, rotten woods that are that are there in position and they are not delivering, and they don't want other other people to deliver. Kanya letoro ukateng palasya mujo ujo hajaya. And let me also make it very clear: there have been no branding rebranding of the party. It's not going to be rebranded. It's not going to happen. The party has a manifesto, and the manifesto is sacrosanct. It's, it, it cannot be changed. The party manifesto is what guided us to develop the country the way we did. So there's no thing, there's not going to be any fundamental change to the party structure. The structures that are there since uh, the constitution was created of the party, those are the structures that are legal. Any other meeting to change, to bring in certain titles that are not there in the uh, in, uh, positions that are not in the in this original structure of the party, those things would not be accepted. Let it make it very clear to the to, to, to the to the chairman. Okay. And the powers <coughs> the powers that have to be defined are very clear. Everything has been defined. When I made appointments to this executive, and that was why I decided that you cannot just be deputy number two without a portfolio, without an area of responsibility. That is why I'm about responsibility and initially, and they have to stick to that origin and I positions that I gave them. Mobilizer general. We never had a mobilizer general in the APRC. What we what we had was a national mobilizer. That is the title. Not mobilizer general so that any you sit down and people those responsible for the women you have a national mobilizer and then you have a national women's mobilizer. And that is the those are the structure I'm going to maintain. I want the chairman to listen to that. For 22 years, that is what we had. But mobilizer general, that anything has to pass through that mobilizer general is nonsense. And it's go I'm not going to take it. Let me make it very clear. So let them abandon that title, mobi mobilizer general. It's not going to happen. What we had was a national mobilizer, a national campaign manager, National Women Mobilizer, that is a national youth mobilizer. And when you say youth, you're talking about boys and girls. Those are the only structures that will be in the party. Nothing else. Those should not be changed and given new titles. National Mobilizer General is rubbish. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Let me make that very clear. So let the... the, the the chairman and the, the council of elders fix these problems and make sure that everybody works. Anybody who can bring many, as many people as possible, that is the guy who is working. Not somebody who sits around and then starts complaining about money. So the, the executive cannot decide anything, any program they want to do without the consent and approval of the, the Council of Elders and the Chairman. And the National Assembly members also should play an active role in the meetings of the executive because they are part of the executive. I'm not saying when they are in session, they are in the not, not as National Assembly. No problem, but when they are not there, they should attend meetings. This is a sacred duty. 22 years, we make sure that when we are having a meeting, of the executive of the APRC. Everybody comes. 
when I call for a meeting. Sometimes they also go and have their own meeting and then come and inform me about it on a topic that we have already agreed upon. So this is the trend that is going to happen. We are not going to bring in any monkey changes to the to the to the to the APRC. It's not going to happen. This issue of national mobilizer general is rubbish. Let them abolish it. What we know is national mobilizer. And then you have national women's mobilizer, which are separate this, uh, uh, institutions. The one responsible fully for the women and the national mobilizer. Normally, this national mobilizer, in fact, his role is make sure that uh, he mobilizes people, OK? And during campaigns, he, he goes ahead before the campaigns that are going to sensitize people. Not a national mobilizer general, uh, or mobilizer general that will sit down at home and talk rubbish. It's not going to happen. Anona Rokutum Kukesoro. Anona Rokutum Ajobotu. Simple. Anybody wants to be a flag bearer, you better go and create your own party. Not, the, not my APRC. I want that to be very clear. I want you to transmit these audios. It has taken so long because we had a serious uh, internet problem. I want you to call them and tell them that I'm, I've given them full powers to deal with the situation. And let them take control of the administration of the party. Let them take full control of the administration of the party. Yes, there's an interim leader. But I vest my powers in them. The Council of Elders and the Chairman. Because I have trust, I'm so relieved listening to them, I'm proud of them. As long as they don't change their position with regards to what they've said, they represent me directly there to oversee the interim and the executive, they are the power over the executive, and will always be in touch. And as I said, as from now, anything to the, to the APRC, the party, I will pass it through, I will tell the, inform the Council of Chairmen and Council of Elders that this is what I want to be done, and they make sure that it is carried out. I want to thank them very much. I'm very proud of them. I'm very, very proud of them. And uh, as simple as Allah, that fool. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I was there, I didn't know him. But I've heard a lot about him, Yafai, Yafai Tamba. And I'm proud of him because he spoke his mind, he spoke the truth. And I know when he was talking, some people were trying to. Uh, Tell him, no, 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 this and that and that. No. And as from now, when it is the National, uh, the Council of Elders and Council, Council of Elders and the Chairman, when they call for a meeting, they should select their own ch ch person to chair the meeting because they call for the meeting. They should chair so that they control unruly people that want to interrupt when somebody is talking. The, the Council of Elders, Councils of Elders and the Chairman, when they call for a meeting, they chair the meeting. If the executive calls for a meeting, the executive can chair the meeting because they call for the meeting. But when the, 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 the as I said, the Council of Chairmen and, uh, and uh, Elders call for a meeting, they select their own chairman who will chair the meeting to make sure that everything is respected. But even if the executive calls for the meeting and chair it, indiscipline should not be accepted by the Council of Elders and Chairmen. Let them control the meeting. You cannot interrupt and speak rudely to an elderly person, not even an elderly person, but to anybody. I want them to take fully, full control of this. I don't know how long it will take for this audio to reach you.
because it is horrible. Uh, I mean, but I guess before the end of the day, they will reach you. I'm saying it is loading very, very uh, slowly. Even the, I think, videos you sent me about, I think it's the farm or whatever, they are loading very slowly. I want to thank you very much for everything. Alhamdulillah, the first audio has, re has reached you. All the best. Convey the message as it is. And you can even give them the audio so that they can go and listen to it. Congratulations to the Council of Elders and the Chairman. I wish them all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.